Hello, this is Trevor from Telecom Training, and today we are going to be talking about bridge taps. What is a bridge tap, and why does it cause problems with our high speed internet lines? Now, here is a diagram of a high speed internet line going from the DSLAM, which stands for Digital Subscriber Line Access Multiplexer, and this is the modem at this end. Normally you have a line going from the DSLAM to the modem. Of course, it will go through a terminal. The terminal is always the connection point closest to your subscriber. But in this particular case, we have something known as a bridge tap connected to this terminal as well. A bridge tap is where you have a connection going from your line to another terminal. This is a very common problem which disable DSL services. Now let me explain to you exactly what happens and why it happened and how to prevent it in the future. Okay? Now you have a DSLAM here and your electrical signal is going up from the DSLAM. This is your internet signal going towards the modem. But when it gets to this point, part of the signal is going to go in that direction and the other part is going to go towards the modem. Now right away, obviously, uh, since you have a signal here and part of it is going in this direction, it will cause a reduction in the signal going towards the modem. So it would be a bit slower, first of all, as a result of this uh, connection. But that's not the main problem. Uh, the main problem is this signal goes down this route towards the end. This line is not terminated. There's no termination on this line whatsoever. So what happens is that this signal bounces back towards the line, just like a tennis ball effect. It hit a certain point and then it bounces back. And when the signal bounces back, um, if it is a very strong signal, it goes right to the modem. If it is a low speed ADSL line like one megahertz, which is about eight megabits per second or maybe lower, the signal may get back here. This box here is about 50 meters from this one. The signal may get back to this point, but it may not be strong enough to affect the modem. So you may not have much of a problem. Yes, the line would be a bit slower as a result of this, but it probably would not make the line feel completely. The line may still operate okay if the signal is not strong enough to affect the modem. But if you have a frequency um, higher than one megahertz, something like 2.2 megahertz, which you have in ADSL 2 plus lines, okay? So ADSL 2 plus is at 24 megabits per second. And so this is where you're gonna have a problem. When the your signal uh, goes down this route and it's reflected back, this is reflected back like a tennis ball effect, as I said before, the signal will be very strong at 2.2 um, megahertz. And it would go towards the modem and it would disrupt the modem. So that what the modem would be trying to do at this point is to sync up to this signal here that is coming to it. And it would be also trying to sync up to a signal coming from the DSLAM it would be very confused because it really wouldn't know which one of these signals to sync up to. So the modem would go out of sync and it will not go back in the sync at all because remember, um, every second you'll get this signal from the DSLAM and every second you'll get a signal coming back from this loop here. These two signals are being received by the modem constantly. So the modem would never get a chance to recover. So the modem would be out of service. In order to get this line to work, a technician will have to remove this bridge tap right here. And uh, once this is done, the line would be up and everything would function correctly. If this video has been helpful to you, please click on the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, click on the subscribe button below so that you'll be alerted as soon as our new videos are released. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching.